Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're gonna show you how to install Ubuntu on a Windows PC. I'll be using Windows 11 but these steps work perfect on Windows 10 as well. Well, there are two ways. Maybe dual boot is an option if you are planning to run heavy workloads in Ubuntu Linux. But for the majority of the people who want to explore Linux along with Windows, VirtualBox is the better choice. So, in this video, I'll cover the VirtualBox method, but there is a link in the description if you are looking for a dual boot method. Without further ado, let's jump into action. Step 1. Download Ubuntu ISO. Please go to ubuntu.com and select download. Over here the version numbers might differ for you, but be sure to choose the LTS or long-term support version, which is usually more reliable and stable. This may take some time based on your internet speed. Once downloaded please make a note of the download location. Step 2. Install VirtualBox and Extension Pack. Please go to the VirtualBox download page. I have given all download links in the description. Download the one for Windows. Please double tap and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. On the same page where we downloaded VirtualBox, please scroll down and download the extension pack. Just double-click on the downloaded file to install. Scroll down and accept this license agreement. This has now installed the extension pack and closed automatically. You can double-check by navigating to File, Tools, and Extension Pack Manager. Step 3. Create a new VM. And wait for the magic. Yes, it's like magic. We are going to install Ubuntu in unattended mode. Please select New. Provide a name for your virtual machine. Most of the time VirtualBox is smart enough to auto-deduct the OS type and version based on the name that you supply. But please feel free to adjust it if required. Now the folder where the virtual machine will be placed. You can leave it as default, or if you have space constraints in C drive, then you can choose another drive and folder as you wish. Please select the Ubuntu ISO file that we've downloaded in step 1. As soon as you select the ISO, the virtual box by default chooses the unattended installation mode. You can check this box if you do not want unattended installation. Most of us don't need to, or even don't like to click next multiple times, and select options manually, so let's leave it unchecked. Please select next. Over here you can optionally change the default username and the password. But please make a note of the user ID and password, without which you cannot get into Ubuntu. I'll tell you about guest editions at the end. But for now, just enable and click Next. Please adjust the RAM and CPU size as you wish, but please don't go beyond green. Tap Next. Select Create a Virtual Hard Disk now. You can optionally adjust the hard disk size if required. Please click Next. Just check it once and click on Finish. This will now automatically install Ubuntu. So please take a break and come back. I'm back after 20 minutes and my installation has been completed successfully. Let's close this notification area. And make it full screen. Let me log in with the password that I created just before. This is optional, if you want you can connect your online account, I'm gonna skip it for now. Please select Next. This is again optional, so let's select No and choose Next. 
Please select next one last time, and finally done. You are now at fully functional Ubuntu Linux operating system. In case you face any keyboard or mouse or display related issues, please follow the guest edition installation link in the video description. Anytime you want to switch to Windows OS, you are just few clicks away. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.